The secret to a great return on your cloud investment is to transport your applications out of the 1990s and into the present day to avoid wasting money on idle EC2 resources. And here are five services that you need to know for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam that are going to help you modernize your applications and help avoid unnecessary waste and cost associated with a lift and shift migration approach. Firstly, there's AWS Lambda, which is the ultimate pay-as-you-go serverless platform, allowing you to run your code in the cloud without needing to provision any EC2 instances, and you only pay for the resources that are used while your code is running. So it's great for short-lived functions or processes that only last a few minutes. And we can use Lambda to build applications that are event-driven, so the code only runs when a particular event triggers it. For instance, if a new file is saved in S3, or if an update is made in a DynamoDB table. And Lambda supports code written in the most popular programming languages, like Python, Ruby, Java, Go, and Node.js. All you do is upload your code, and Lambda will take care of the rest. Alternatively, deploying your application as a set of microservices running in Docker containers is another way to avoid wasted resources because this approach lets you easily scale only the components of your application that are actually needed. You can run multiple containers on a cluster of EC2 instances instead of each application component being deployed to its own instance. And by using containers, you can take advantage of a number of services that AWS has to offer. So there's Elastic Container Service, which lets you deploy, manage, and scale your containerized applications. And this is a fully managed container orchestration service. It supports Docker, and you can run your containers either on a cluster of EC2 instances or take advantage of another serverless technology that they offer, which is called Fargate. And Fargate is a serverless platform where you can deploy and run your containerized applications in the cloud without needing to worry about deploying any EC2 instances. And it has a pay-as-you-go model where you only pay for the resources that are used by your containers. There's also Elastic Kubernetes Service, or EKS, which is very similar to Elastic Container Service. And EKS is a fully managed Kubernetes-compatible containerization platform. So it lets you deploy, manage, and scale containerized applications. It's fully Kubernetes-compatible, and it also supports Fargate for serverless containers. But where do you store all of the images for these containers? Elastic Container Registry, of course. And Elastic Container Registry is a service that lets you share and deploy container images. And these container images are really the blueprints for your containers. And they're holding the code, libraries, and dependencies that are needed to run your application. So storing your container images in Elastic Container Registry means that you can host the images securely and reliably, allowing you to pull the images and use them to launch containers on ECS and EKS. Well, that wraps up my five services that you need to know for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam that are going to help you modernize your applications and save money on your AWS bills. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to take the next step in your tech learning journey, sign up for free tech skills courses below.